Hello everyone, we are group 20 and our intervention is called Pass on the Pipe. The main goal of our intervention aims to reduce the prevalence of hookah use among San Diego University students by partnering with schools in the area, three in particular, San Diego State, USD, and UCSD to provide education and shift attitudes on the use of hookah. Our evaluation questions are as follows. Number one, what was the average score on the hookah risk knowledge post test? Number two, how many participants in a week-long event scored above average on the knowledge test? Number three, how many participants in the week-long event participated in the debate? Number four, do students' attitudes about hookah differ based on the college each attends in terms of knowledge scores? Number five, is a week-long interactive program more effective than standard informational material in increasing students' knowledge regarding hookah risk? The conceptual model that we have chosen for our study is the theory of planned behavior. When trying to persuade change of conscious behavior, the theory of planned behavior has proven to be the most successful. This design applies to the Pass on the Pipe campaign because, like the theory, this intervention works to shift attitudes from accepting hookah use to completely eradicating it. Through education, this program hopes to change the way students view hookah and measure whether this attitude shift shows decrease in their use. Our research design is a non-experimental pre-post test. This design is being used because the program aims to reach as many students as possible with the attitude that any exposure to the program will be more beneficial overall than secluding individuals in a control group. Because the intervention is a school-wide event, it would be nearly impossible to make sure the control group wasn't going to the campus events and receiving the information, thus contaminating the results. We are also working with a limited budget relying heavily on student aid. Administering pre and post test is the most cost effective measure for our study. The sampling procedure that we will do is going to be a random sampling that will take place at time of registration for students. The students will be required to take our hookah pretest knowledge survey in order to register for our classes. And then following that, a computer system will randomly select them to participate in the hookah trial. The dependent variables that we will be looking at is decreased hookah use among San Diego University students, increased knowledge on the negative effects of hookah use as well. The independent variables are going to be attendance of program events, participation in the completing of the punch cards, which they will receive at the beginning of the week-long event, as well as education given at the activities during pass, the Pass on the Pipe program. We are going to be doing a bivariate data analysis. We're going to be measuring the hookah use in terms of minutes, as well as the knowledge of hookah for the students. And we will also be doing a chi-square test. So as one can see through the research evaluation data, the first bar represents the time an individual spent smoking hookah in minutes prior to the intervention, and the second bar represents the time in minutes an individual spent smoking hookah prior to the intervention as well. So we can see that compared to pre and post test, there was a tremendous decrease in hookah use. Some people almost even completely eliminated it, so we do see the correlation between educating students on hookah use and their usage of hookah. So the average on the hookah risk knowledge post-test was 13 minutes of usage in comparison to the pre-test average of 29.5 minutes, which is a tremendous decrease. According to our knowledge test, half of our participants scored above average scores on the knowledge test, which will be more than six. 60% of our sampling population participated in the hookah debate included in Pass on the Pipe campaign. The attitudes of the students from SDSU, USD, and UCSD regarding hookah knowledge did not differ. So the limitation of our study is that we do not have a control group, therefore making it difficult to filter out confounding factors affecting the overall validity of the study. But through our results, we failed to reject our null hypothesis, therefore accepting the five-day campus campaign pass on the pipe is more effective than standard informational material based on our findings. Attitude shifts as a result of education did lower prevalence rates 
of hookah use at the university. So in conclusion, we are very pleased with the outcome of the Pass on the Pipe campaign. We saw a great decrease of hookah use as well as an increase of knowledge in the participants of the campaign. We will continue to educate the public about the dangers of hookah in hopes of completely eradicating it.